John here, guys. We're here at the night spot, and Evan Turner is here preparing for the upcoming DRL season. So as he was racing with the DRL Racer 4 and two practice rigs built up to mimic them, I thought I'd give you guys an inside scoop and a full review of how that thing flies and how the craft from the Drone Racing League television show performs on the most famous tracks in the world, most notably the Houston Night Spot. The racer four. No, Look at this thing. Nah. Look at this no, thing. I'll get the wait, let me get the tiny trainer out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Tiny trainer for scale. Oh yeah, for scale. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little brother. Wow, this is huge. These are bigger than I thought. Yeah, no, I mean, look wow. at the prop, the prop itself. Like the tiny trainer, like kind of fits in yeah, the prop. The tiny in. trainer is the same size as the prop. Check these yeah. batteries out. They're like um, uh, really skinny. Like they look like these like three cells almost, but they have these like super skin skinny like five cells in there. It's oh. a five cell twenty three hundred ma, but it's like these tiny thin cells, and then it pops in literally just like the tiny trainer. You just get it on the back and then pop it in, and then like your tiny trainer and then you do the exact same thing where it just slides right in so, so it's you things really kind of, get the DRL it's kind of yeah, yeah same man, thing. That's so awesome does this have all DRL gear on it or do you put like beta flight gear on it so we use like their electronics um the, but the only thing that's different is like the um video and receiver systems they use like their own special video system yeah. but um yeah so this is like the this is not what they use in the show just this is like a unified of tracer receiver but that's like the but video. this is like so this is the flight controller right here and then that's like this power distribution board. And then this is like, um, yeah, also PDB. So you can see like, these are like breakout boards. So they yeah, solder here, here, and here. Sticking. And then this is actually an ESC. I'll show you one up close, the ESC, uh, which is like a really cool. It just pops the, in? The tech. So you can see the motor's trying to solder on right here. Mm. And then it just uh, has this connector here and it plugs in and you solder the positive ground, positive ground. The LEDs just snap on. So like, they don't even like really need to solder. They just get them on here. Snap. And then they just, they're on like that, which is pretty cool. Wow. Um, yeah, that's badass. This one just has like individual ESCs. You can kind of see in it. But they're just like TBS bulletproof ESCs. Though. <laughs> you can see the lead that I had to add. So the ones that we fly on the show, like the video system and everything's heavier, more LEDs. Oh, um, so, so we have to add to, LED, the to weight simulate the, to the get the weight. weight yeah. yeah. So that's why I had to bring like literal lead. But the, uh, the motors are 25 tons. And here's like, here's a shell. This one's broken, but. So here's the practice rig. Wrong. I brought two of these for uh, Neil and Yvonne to fly. Um, and it's like the Project 399 and they obviously, these are all, this is all weight here, like lead weights here. Um, but it uses just like a hobby wing stack, this one here, so it's okay. a 60 amp stack. Yeah. Like 2510, like 1280 or, or something KV, yeah, those are DRL branded, but these are, you can buy them. Wow. Um, and then use the same props, so there's just HQ 7x4x3 props. And it's, it's not exact, I won't say, so like these we use like, pr obviously proprietary ESCs and they use like one shot in their own special tune and oh, stuff. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Um, but like, so we've never, I've never been able to get this to fly like exactly like a racer four or be like a, a proper training tool. But I mean, it's super cool to like fly with your buddies. Um, yeah, yeah. and I have a big quad in your face. If you're practicing for DRL, then like, yes, practicing with one of these or other people who are flying these is great because it did does simulate like yeah. that big quad in your face. But to, you don't have to use a big quad like that to get spec racing. Like there's a yeah, freedom yeah. spec and other forms of spec. So with um, their video system, we use two antennas? Uh, well, this one's for Crossfire, so like the, it has oh, two little okay, ports yeah, in each for a Crossfire antenna. Uh, or not Crossfire, whatever they're, it's not, even, it's not Crossfire, it's some, something 900. So they screw a 900 antenna on and then uh, the 5.8. So the radio link is their own proprietary? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, and it's supposed to, um, around the latency of Tracer, a really fast uh, radio link. It's fancy stuff. A lot of LEDs. Yeah, <laughs> but the one on the show they have even more. So like That's we, crazy. this only has them down the arms, but they yeah, have they like a panel middle, that goes yeah. down the top here. So when does the actual season start? Starts airing at the end of September. So you're training, and you decided to take a flight down to Houston. To get... It's a uh, really uh, dense, uh, full of like talented pilots. Evan just said that Johnny Five is a talented pilot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's talking about you. So he brought uh, f oh, no, one so uh, one quad like this for me and for so Neil to race. Fire. So against him uh, to give pressure. him, yeah, yeah. So this quad is actually fast, uh, faster than uh, so Racer 4, he, so we're kind of like adjusting the speed of this quad with the throttle cap, and giving Evan a little bit of competition. Really, really yeah, and it's fun. Uh, so he wanted you, he came down like here to get the training. Is there incentive for you guys to actually win? Like, yeah. Do you get something for winning? Yeah, no, there's, uh, I mean, it's just like, I mean, like in any 
like and racing like racing yeah. series yeah. like for every race yeah. there's a, there's Good incentive surprise. to perform nice um so yeah we everybody wants to do the best they can and you get a night you go out to a nice dinner if you win or <laughs> but of course the end goal yeah is like you want to get a contract for the next year so you oh, want to yeah, be yeah, in the mix yeah. by the race four that wants to tonight so you're more than welcome to try it out so you, this one even has light weights on it as well we're trying to get to like 1350 grams 1380 grams with uh, yeah. everything on us so that is like gopro um, you know, with the battery. Right. Drone racing is going to become a spectator or anything like this is what it'll be. I think Freedom Spec is the best practice for DRL and it like it really helps me I think. So, you, so chances are he's going to dominate. No, no, no. But I, I, I mean it's very similar like turning early and like a lot of the like ways. When you're flying at the quad's maximum potential then like you really have to like think of fundamentally like how you're turning the quad. Like what the motors like for yaw for example like you want to minimize you don't want to use any yaw because that means you're at full throttle and say you're going through a turn using yaw you're you're cutting off two motors like they, they can't go full throttle. If you can minimize how much you are going to use and turn with the other motors, you'll have more thrust. Like inherently, you will have more thrust. Yeah. Did you mess with the camera angle any? To no, we're we're required to use 45. Oh, okay. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. In a straightaway, you're not losing near as much. Like the thrust isn't near as important. Uh, so you can kind of cock it sideways in a straight, and then when you actually go into a turn, because in a turn that's where like the difference is made. If you're going into a turn with a ton of yaw, a quad can power right out of you. So you can kind of cock it sideways and then really pull with roll and pitch and use less yaw and that and that's where you make up the fight. I wouldn't recommend you buy it unless you're on DRL. Um, there you go. But if, uh, if you're on or you're friends with somebody who's on DRL, then they're great to uh, race each other. Um, but then if you get serious with them, then you gotta have like two or three of them. Yeah, and then and it's, then just, it's and like the, the batteries why? are expensive, yeah. the motors are expensive. So basically, um, Freedom Spec gives you almost the same feel. I like the idea of like for the community itself to be able to use their drone, the spec drone for other things, use the motors for other things, use the batteries for other things. The batteries are pretty big, you can never use those for five inch. The motors are kind of expensive and you never really use them anything, for anything other than this. Like, I mean, danger, yeah, sure. But I mean, crashes like full drone, speed. Uh, danger has never scared a drone pilot away from anything, I don't think. So, that's true. <laughs> I don't, that's not one of my reasons. But um, it's cool nonetheless, like <laughs> I said. It's, um, I, mean, car, I car with one today though, over Andy's barn. Yeah. So he it starts so, with, like, <laughs> hit the start gate, hit the grass bad. right in the start really? gate, oh, and started Oh. cartwheeling and then cartwheeled up and hit the like the awning of the barn and both sides of the roof and like was on the other side like yeah, there's the no start. way like so five weeks would do that it's yeah tough. yeah oh yeah and like just change the props yeah how much like extra metal he put on them that's yeah. crazy man. Make them heavier, like all over it's 1300 yeah. well not this arm why not this arm uh, uh i don't know i think we replaced this motor or something so we cut it yeah, well, yeah. now i'm a little bit lighter yeah. than the yeah <laughs> he's got the advantage yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna help you. Let's see how tough this thing is. It looks pretty We're okay. We're golden, looks boys! Pretty okay. Not That's a scratch awesome. on it. Just new props. That's all she needs. Nice. Look, this is where it hit, though, for wow. sure. Let's find the mark in the tree. Here, look at its dog in right oh, here. Oh, man. That's like legit. <laughs> Like fits in there. Look at that. That's about, wow. Uh, that's about a 45 caliber. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like my whole finger goes in there. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, Jeez, what's that? I mean, like, it's, it's like 10 millimeters. Oh thick god, or yeah, something. look it's so thick. Dude, I can stick my what finger in the tree where it no. hit. Like <laughs> yeah. that thing is it's tough. Dug in right wow. There. That is tough. That's epic. What is that? Project 399? Yeah, the brig. Here we go. We got all six squads coming around the line. Way midair. Oh, yeah. God. Like five years in drone racing, I've never had three way midair. When three quads collapsing with each other, like that's crazy. Oh, that's I guess because these quads are big, so yeah, they're slow and big, it's much easier to be there. Oh, you can't fit inside the gate. That's how it's that's how it is in DRL. Like the quads are so big, and we're all so close, and like the speed is oh my god, it's crazy. But going through these tiny gates, especially like yeah. only so many quads are gonna fit through one. Yeah. I want to do that. That was pretty cool. I yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like dude, a, that's a different skill than five inch because when you're behind, you yeah, kind of have to fly yeah, different yeah. lines. If you, especially if you want to pass somebody, like if you want to pass somebody uh, and you're behind them, you have to fly a different line than you normally would because they're you know they're going to be on the line. So you have to kind of try and figure out a different way. But it to also pass because them. of prop, you can feel pro wash of the pilot in yeah, front of you. It's crazy because it yeah. was so much heavier, it creates so much more turbulence. So you just slower if you're behind someone, you just slower. Yeah, Neil said wow. it's like the opposite of cars. Yeah. It's like opposite drafting. You don't want to be. You don't want to be behind. Oh, that's crazy. 
So it's like almost counterintuitive. Yeah. Uh, I mean, let's try and plug it in, see what happens. Sheesh. See a fire. Does fire comes up yeah, sometimes. We're good. Sheesh. All right. oh, I saw sparks I or something. Like, oh, oh man, I could well, smell it, dude. Yeah. Toasty. Oh, yeah. I just Spicy. smell the whiff of it. It smells like burnt I chicken. Oh, yeah. I, don't I, I don't think it smells that tasty. Vaughn's fixing. What's it looking like? Well, just uh, replace ESC. Now I need to put a motor on it, and hopefully it's good to go. This ESC is dead. Oh man, smoked I don't know it. what is that. Yeah, Neil smoked it. He mid air with me and with uh, Evan at the same time. Yeah, three way mid air. Can you imagine uh, how big of an asshole you are if you take like like <laughs> split second and two, two pilots, other pilots down other together pilots with down. you? So it's yeah. like neither Neil have fun nor no, no, nor no, other no. pilots. I, I, I was having fun too. It was more fun until we crashed. <laughs> but then I found out it hit you, and then it was more okay. That's a mess. Is that like a menage a trois crash? It was. Yeah, that's a party right there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. it has been like the most fun of racing I've had in a long time the last two days. Really? Oh, yeah. Man, because it's like so that we really got the throttle cap figured out where like I'm racing with Evan every heat and like man it's been like we were racing all day and like especially if I don't mess up which is that happens but like <laughs> that we're like 10 feet from each other and like passing back and forth I mean it's really good and we set up Andy's like really stretched out and really high speed to like mimic the sort of GRL feel and it's been a good time it's been a really good time yeah, I can't wait for, for sure time. yeah it's it's been good like there's probably been more crashes from mid airs than from us like making mistakes yeah. because we're just that close. It's yeah. been good. It's been good. Yes. Look at this thing. It's a beast. Have you picked it up yet? Because it's really heavy. Look, it's like full of lead. Like he's got an added weight on all the arms to get it to like match the same weight as like the DRL quad. Here's my box of lead. We should have the TSA was like they thought I was crazy. We deal in lead, friend. Yeah, yeah, like, what is this? Why are you bringing a box of lead? Dead weight. <laughs> weight, it's really fun. It feels cool. Man. And, and it's, I mean, like, just find all these big quads, slow, and like, uh, for sure, mine's a little faster than Evan's, but it still feels good to be, like, there. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah, really, yeah. really racing, so, it, yeah, it's fun. Go! Right there. 